Hello everyone, I'm JG and welcome back to Music Forever, where today I'm going to be giving you guys a brand new discussion video where I go into detail about a certain topic and, and just talk about it, really share my thoughts on it. And the subject of today's video being a, a, a kind of a response to a common criticism or kind of a deflection of criticism that I see thrown around a lot by artists by fans of artists as well, really the idea that you can't criticize work, uh, like an artistic piece of work, whether that be a music piece of work, like an album or a song, or something else, like a book or a movie, a TV show, a video game, whatever it might be. You can't criticize these things if you haven't actually made one yourself. Uh, and in particular, today's video was inspired by some recent events that have transpired concerning Butch Hartman. If you're unaware of who he is, he's the creator, or at least, uh, you know, the creator, one of the people behind shows like The Fairly Odd Parents and Danny Phantom, two shows that were really popular on Nickelodeon about, like, a decade ago, I, was, I would say. I know Fairly Odd Parents aired up to fairly recently, but I haven't been watching it really. I watched it a lot more in my childhood, like, ten years ago or so. Uh, not that I dislike any of the, the older material of that show now or anything like that, but, you know, he was behind a couple of those shows that lots of people around my age or so, maybe a little older and younger as well, really did get to enjoy. Uh, he's no longer with Nickelodeon, where those shows originally aired, and recently he's been trying to start his own streaming service thing called Oaxis, that uh, there was a Kickstarter for it, and there's been a lot of controversy concerning this thing. Uh, for a myriad of different reasons. I'm not going to get into it right now because honestly I can make an entire video on that alone and it's really kind of irrelevant to today's topic for the most part so I'm not going to. If you want to know more about this whole situation I recommend you check out the channel Pie Guy Rules. He's done many videos on this uh, subject in, in detail from the start of it. So if you want to get caught up on this whole thing I recommend you check out his channel and some of his videos. But there's also other content creators out there that I know of that have done similar stuff. Uh, but back to the subject of today's video, what the, the event in particular that inspired it was something that he said on a live stream rather recently where I guess somebody uh, was criticizing him, I believe, or, or for some reason, for some reason he ended up going on this sort of rant where he said that people couldn't criticize because they weren't responsible for making art for themselves, basically the subject of today's video really. And it got me thinking again and it made me want to put out my own thoughts on this subject matter here and why I think at the end of the day that this argument that Butch Hartman and many other creators and fans of these creators uh, that, that they give, I feel like this argument doesn't really make any sense at the end of the day. And I guess you can kind of expect me to have that opinion given that this channel is literally just me criticizing things for the most part, primarily music, but occasionally some other stuff as well like movies and TV shows. Uh, of course you would expect me to believe that it is possible for people to criticize these things even without actually making them, considering that I myself don't actually make, you know, a lot of things here. I've never made music before, I've never made a movie or a TV show before, unless you count, like, these YouTube videos as being similar to that, which really I don't. Uh, I kind of count them as being their own sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, I would, I, by the definition of these people, I should not be allowed to criticize the things that I spend, you know, criticizing on this entire channel pretty much. But at the end of the day, I feel like this argument, like I mentioned before, doesn't make any sense. And many people will bring up, you know, the counterpoint that, you know, if you go out to a restaurant and you don't like the food, you're going to say that you don't like it. And, you know, you're not going to, if the chef says, well, you should make the food yourself, I mean, that would just be really dumb at the end of the day. That's a common, you know, counterpoint people bring up to this argument. But I think there's actually a, a lot, you know, deeper of a you know, argument that could be had here. Uh, primarily because I feel like when content creators say this about their work, they say you can't criticize it unless you have made it yourself. Uh, I kind of feel like they're telling their audience to not pay a lot of attention to their work. And just kind of turn their brains off and pay attention to it. Because at the end of the day, in order to criticize something, you have to think critically about it. And, you know, thinking critically about something isn't necessarily a negative thing. In fact, you could look at something critically and come up with many positive points. In fact, if you really like a piece of art, you're probably going to look at it very critically, analyze it, uh, discuss it with other people, examine it, uh, look for other people's opinion about it. Uh, I know myself, when it comes to things that I really like, that's what I like to do personally. I just like to just fully dive into the work and explore everything that it has to offer. 
Uh, and, you know, in the process of doing that, I'm thinking critically about that work. And at the end of the day, I may not come out uh, saying things that are, you know, critical about it uh, in, in a negative sense, because I feel like the word criticize has a negative connotation today, but I do feel like you could look at something critically and then talk about it in a positive way as well. But in order to do that, you have to think critically about it. And if an artist is saying, don't look at my work critically, don't criticize it, don't, don't think about it really, uh, it's, I, I guess they're kind of saying that it's just meant to be like, you know, background music or background noise, like if it's a TV show, it's just something you put on and you don't really pay attention to your music, I guess like an album that you just have on is background music, you just tune it out completely. And I guess that there are some artists out there that maybe make work that's trying to do that, but, you know, for the most part, I feel like if you ask these artists that, you know, say have this argument and say, don't criticize my work unless you make it yourself, uh, I feel like if you ask them if they intend to have their audience not, you know, think critically about their work and, like, analyze it and pay attention to it, they would probably say that that's not what they're trying to say. They want you to, you know, pay attention to it, because considering most artists make their art with the intent of having some kind of message or meaning or just a point to it. Uh, so, of course, in order to really get those things, you have to be paying attention to it. I feel like this uh, comes about because uh, the artists really aren't quite thinking about what they're saying when they say, don't criticize this work unless you make it yourself. Really, they're just, you know, trying to shield themselves from criticism for the most part. And by saying that, you know, you're not a valid person in criticizing my work because you're not at the level that I'm at, uh, that on the surface, that seems like a pretty valid argument, but it really falls apart when you start to look at it under, you know, a microscope, really, and you start to see how little sense it actually makes, because uh, the majority of people out there that are enjoying different forms of art, you know, don't make it themselves, honestly. And it's still a good thing to criticize this kind of art, to look at it critically, not only for to the person's benefit themselves, to learn more about their own personal taste, and to develop their critical thinking skills and things like that, but also maybe to provide some feedback to the artists that are making this art, to share what maybe they liked about this art, or maybe what they didn't like about this art. And then, you know, there comes the problem of some artists just not taking criticism very well. And here's the thing. If you're making any type of art or any type of content, you're going to get criticism. It's impossible for you to release something out there and just get only positive feedback. Unless, like, the only person you ever show it to is, like, your mom or something. In which case, maybe you'll, you'll get 100% positive feedback. But um, if you're actually putting it out there into the world, the real world, that is, uh, people are going to criticize it. There's some people out there that aren't going to like it and just aren't going to connect it to it, really. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that they hate it or that they hate you as a person or dislike you as a person or think that you should stop making art. It just means that they didn't care for this one thing that you made. That's really all it is at the end of the day. And uh, there's nothing really all that wrong with that. And there are also people out there who will probably like what you're making as well. I just feel like a lot of artists use this argument just as kind of this big shield to protect themselves saying, you can't criticize me. No one can criticize me because you're definitely not at my level. Because if you were at their level and you were making, you know, music yourselves, like they were, like in the case of a music artist, let's say, you probably won't have time to be putting out, like, you know, like for me, for example, reviews of music. I mean, you probably do think critically about music, have your own opinions, but you probably won't get a chance to share them as much as you would if you were someone like me, just an, a listener, an observer, you know, not someone who's actually making the music themselves. I also feel like fans use this argument it just to defend artists in art that they like as well, uh, really for the same reasons that the artist would. But this also falls apart when you realize that by saying that you can't judge this piece of art that they like because you haven't made it themselves, well, I mean, how could they even say that they like this art if they also haven't made art themselves? Like, they should, shouldn't even have an opinion on it. Like, unless you've made, made it yourself, you can't have any opinion on it whatsoever. Positive, negative opinion just cannot exist unless you've made it yourself, which just makes no sense, honestly. You don't really need to understand the nitty-gritty of all these art forms in order to be able to criticize them. You don't have to understand music theory to talk about music. You don't need to have taken several years of courses at school about these topics in order to really talk about them, because I feel like lots of art connects to people on an emotional level, on a personal level, not necessarily on a technical level. And I'm not saying that analyzing something from a technical standpoint is bad, uh, in fact, if you have knowledge about these things, if you have taken many years of school courses about them, if you understand music theory, 
in the case of music, those are all great things and those are great tools to have when you're analyzing the art. But you don't necessarily need them either because you know your average everyday person who might not have that information still has opinions about this art. They're still able to look at it and connect with it. Maybe they're able to relate to the lyrics or they just like how something sounds or something you know piques their interest in the music itself. Uh, those are all completely valid reasons to like something. And it's also completely valid reasons to dislike something without, you know, knowing technical information about it. Maybe saying that, you know, from a technical standpoint, maybe it's made well, but it just doesn't connect with you all that much. That's a perfectly okay opinion to have. Uh, but, you know, if you were to bring that up maybe to someone, they might just say, you know, that you can't criticize it because you haven't made it yourself. That's, that's not a good argument, in my opinion. And I know some people are going to say that there are critics out there, there are people out there who do try to pass off their opinions as fact, who are just jerks to artists and fans who like the art and you just use their, you know, differing opinion as a point of harassing these people at times. And to that I say, yes, I understand that those people exist and I don't think that's a good thing. You know, a critic should never try to pass off their opinion as fact because it is just that an opinion. You can't, I, at least I personally feel like you can't look at art in a completely objective manner. There's always going to be some uh, subjective uh, you know, thoughts concerning it that are going to come into your own personal opinion because it is a personal opinion at the end of the day. And of course it's, it's, it's okay to share your opinions, it's okay to uh, argue with people, debate with people about your opinions, but as long as you're being respectful about it, you understand it's just your own personal opinion and that other people are going to have theirs, that's perfectly okay. And also, just don't, you know, harass artists as well just because you don't like their work. Don't go after them, don't bother them on social media or something like that because at the end of the day, that's just really stupid, honestly. Uh, and there are some people in the world like this, unfortunately, and I, I feel like they're definitely a more of a minority than the people out there that are, you know, criticizing things in a very fair manner. Like, I would put myself under that category, considering, you know, I don't go after people in my reviews. I'm not telling people that they should die because they made an album I dislike. Like, that's just absolutely ridiculous to think that. And uh, I would like for the artist that, you know, maybe I give a negative review to, that I, I would hope that someday that they are able to turn it around and make good music. And I'm not saying that uh, just because I dislike the album that everyone else has to. Heck, I usually end my videos by saying it's just my own opinion and feel free to have your own. It's also why at the end of most of my reviews, I talk about who would like the album, even if I myself didn't like it, just because I feel like you guys watching, maybe you'll like this project even if I didn't. And if I describe to you as, you know, if I describe the album as being for someone that, you know, likes the album and you fit into that category, maybe you should check it out even if I myself didn't like it. But yeah, essentially, um, I feel like it's important to look at art and think critically about it, to criticize it, to think deeply about it. I'm not saying you have to necessarily do that with every piece of art you ever come in contact with, but uh, if, you know, if you're going to be reviewing it, like in a video like I do, or if it's something that you really like and you just want to get into it, you're definitely going to end up looking at it critically. I do feel like it's important for artists to listen to criticism that they're given and not just put up this a phony sort of shield and with this argument to protect themselves from any criticism because at the end of the day that's not going to do them any favors when say a large portion of their fan base or audience is just not liking it for some reason maybe they should be able to get across to the artist why that is without the artist just being like no no you can't judge me because you haven't made it yourself and of course there, you could also open the whole can of worms concerning critics out there who are knowledgeable in these fields I know like here on YouTube there are several critics out there that have, you know, made music or know about music knowledge themselves, like, you know, The Needle Drop being a big example, probably the most popular music critic on here. I know he does play the bass. Uh, I don't think he's ever, like, released music uh, while that he's played bass on, but I, there are videos of him on YouTube, in fact, uh, playing the bass. Uh, he, he knows a, a, f a fair bit about music. So, you know, anyone telling him that he can't criticize music because he doesn't understand it or doesn't make it himself, well, he does. And even for people like myself who don't make music, uh, it's perfectly okay to judge, uh, you know, pieces of art, content created by people, even going further into other things in real life, like, like I mentioned earlier, like at a restaurant, like if you went to a restaurant and you got sick afterwards because of the food you ate there, w would you ever go back there? I mean, probably not, but you know, you could also think, well, you have never, you didn't make the food there yourself, you don't make that kind of food yourself, so you can't really judge it yourself. 
I mean, if that's the case, you're just going to end up going back to this restaurant over and over again uh, and getting sick over and over again. That just sounds not fun. Or even other things like politics, for example. People should be critical of people in political positions. I feel like that's essential. Even people who aren't, you know, in political positions themselves. That's kind of how, you know, politics should work. Uh, so yeah, I just feel like it's absolutely necessary for people out there to be uh, critical of things at all times, even if they're not responsible for making it themselves. Uh, yeah, that is just my own personal opinion on this topic. I know it's not too far out there from what many other critics would have in mind. I'm sure most critics at some point have gotten this thrown their way and have had to respond to it, think about this question, and have probably come to a conclusion very similar to myself. Like I said, the whole, you know, the, the example I gave earlier with the restaurant is kind of a very common, you know, counterpoint to this argument. But when you think about it deeper, when I kind of came to realize that it's kind of like the artists themselves telling their fans not to think about their work, that's where it really got a bit interesting for me. And I think it is important for art, you know, I'm not, it's not what art, artists are really trying to say for the most part. They're just kind of trying to protect themselves from criticism. And I think artists just need to know that not all criticism thrown their way is necessarily just pure hate. Sometimes it's constructive criticism. It's there to help people or just people sharing their own opinions. It's not necessarily people hating on them or something like that. But yeah, that's just my own personal thoughts on this. Like I said, this was very much inspired by the whole recent events with Butch Hartman and that one thing that he said. So I guess this video is kind of a response to him to some degree, but he's far from the only person out there to have said this before, far from the first artist, and definitely far from the first person in general, because I see fans say stuff like this as well, all the time. But yeah, that's just my own personal thoughts on this topic. If you enjoyed this discussion video, I greatly appreciate if you would leave a like on it, and subscribe to the channel for more uh, music-related content. I mean, I already talked about it to some extent earlier in this video, things like reviews, countdown lists, stuff like that. Comment down below your thoughts on this subject matter. Uh, I greatly appreciate seeing your thoughts on something like this, considering it is something that is very prevalent in not just music communities, but just any type of art, really. So yeah, share your thoughts down below, subscribe, and make sure you guys stay golden.